One of the biggest factors in the success for the Nintendo Switch since its release in 2017 has been the ability to play high quality games in either a handheld mode or connected to your television like what we have behind me here. Now, traveling and taking your Switch on the go, for a lot of people this is their favorite way to play the Switch. For me, not so much. I've never really cared for how the original Switch feels in handheld mode. And there are different ways that you can go ahead and kind of tailor that experience for you to try to improve it. There are things such as different grip cases and whatnot that alter the way that the Switch feels in the hand. I've tried those. Some I like more than others. There are third-party Joy-Cons that actually add like the Joy-Con grip style molding into the back of the Joy-Con itself. We've actually reviewed this unit here on the channel. I'll have a link down below if you want to check that out. But for me, my favorite way to play the Switch in handheld is using one of these. This is from Fixture Gaming and this is called the S1. We've also reviewed both this version, the production version, and the Founders Edition here on the channel. I'll have those linked for you as well. For me, this is an amazingly comfortable way to go ahead and play the Switch and I absolutely love using it. Hey everybody, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. I hope you and yours are doing well. And what I want to know from you today in this video behind me, this is versus Super Mario Brothers, a very different sort of arcade port to the Nintendo Switch. I want to know, are you a fan of any of the versus titles that are on the Switch? Let me know down in the comments. So the Fixture Gaming S1, this is, I love this thing. This is my preferred way to play the Switch in handheld. And I do have the original version here along with the very cool Founders Edition. We'll give you a closer look at both of these in the moment, uh, in a moment on the photo bench. But they recently started shipping, and you've been available or been available to get on, I believe, Kickstarter or Indiegogo. This is their travel case for the Fixture Gaming S1. But the neat thing is it provides a whole lot more than just a way to transport the grip. You can transport your switch, transport cartridges, and a whole lot more. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, throw it on the photo booth, and we're gonna give you a closer look at it. Let's go get started. So before we get into the case, I just wanna give everyone a real quick overview again of what the Fixture S1 is, because there's two different versions. I have the Founders Edition here, and then this is the actual production version. Now the Founders Edition is what you could get if you backed them on, I can't remember if it was Kickstarter or Indiegogo, but it was one of those two, and it says Founders Edition right here. And the cool thing for me, is it also says fixture s1 on the back but check this out check this out it's actually personalized and says rock solid productions on the back of it and uh they even formatted the x properly which i definitely appreciate uh, very great way i have enjoyed playing my switch using this since the day that i've gotten it now, the production version adds a couple additional features over the Founders Edition. It has these little rubber like stops on the back so that your Switch has a cushion the back, you know, against which it is resting. Uh, it has a little foam strip down here too, so your uh, Pro Controller has something to rest against. And it also has a rubber kind of foot here underneath the pedestal because you can use this to play your Switch in dock mode. This is the single best upgrade if you are sick and tired of the puny, just terrible kickstand on the Switch. This is a terrific way just to play in tabletop mode. And the way that your Switch mounts, it's the same on either one. I'm actually going to use the production version. There's a molded part here and here that just slides down the rails on your Switch. So. Uh, these can be a little tricky to get lined up and get square, but once you get everything squared up, it will slide right into place. Boom, just like that. And now, as you can see, I can position my switch, you know, pretty much any way, any angle that I want now. I do have to balance it to make sure it doesn't tip over one way or the other, but this is a great way to play in tabletop mode. I've got my pro controller here. And you can see that I'm controlling everything. Go to original versus Super Mario Brothers. Press the start button. Okay, terrific, and it's going into that. Now, what I can also do is I can take my Pro Controller and I can slide it in here and I can play my Switch in handheld mode now but I can use the Pro Controller. I'm sorry for the glare, we'll try to keep that down as much as possible. And I can again position the screen, or the switch, as I see fit for the best overall balance. For me, I tend to like it 
positioned kind of like this. Uh, it's a little bit higher away from the controller, so that way I am not bumping my hands and whatnot uh, on the bottom of the switch while I'm playing. You can adjust the position of the switch uh, in the rails too if you want to. I prefer it all the way down, just that way I know it's secured. Now, in addition to using the Pro Controller, we're gonna pop this guy out just like that. In the Founders Edition or the standard production version, you can use the Pro Controller. I have also found the KMD Pro Controller will also fit in here. Now, this is a much looser fit than what the Nintendo Pro Controller is. This is the only third-party controller I have found to date that works with either the Founders Edition or the original. Okay, so now that we have kind of an overview of what the Fixture Gaming S1 is and why I love it, because it's it's just awesome. I absolutely love it. Let us take a look at their new case design for this. And I'm actually going to set my switch aside for right now because I don't want to knock it over. And inside the case, I will say it's not, it's not a hard case, but it is, the best way I can describe it, flex resistant. So if you throw this in a backpack or something like that, say your laptop sits on top of it, it's not gonna damage your switch. So up top, you have a really nice area for storage here. So you can throw uh, AC adapters in here, headphones, other accessories, charging cables and whatnot. Those will all fit in here. Now, the interesting thing, you really can't see through it. It's almost like a material that you would use on a balaclava or a, uh, a mask, a neck gaiter or something like that. So interesting to note there. You also have storage for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 different uh, cartridges, no storage on the back. And then here's where the whole kit and caboodle will kind of sit in here. We're gonna grab our switch and we're gonna remount the pro controller in here because one thing I want to see is if I can store the whole thing in here or if I have to remove the switch. There is pressure on the top of this. If you're going to travel with this with your switch in here as well, I would not use that accessory pouch. Uh, the way that I am looking and feeling this right now, this has a springiness to it that will help protect your switch. But if you have any, any accessories in here, you're taking that give away. So I would not necessarily do that. Now let's take, we're gonna slide the switch out. Actually, I could have just used the Founders Edition. Ah. I'm smart, SMRT. So without the switch on, it still has a bit of a tight fit. Maybe if I fold it down like so, that's better. So that is the way if you have, this is the way, uh, if you have the, um, the S1 kind of angled down towards the front like that, that's how I would carry that. And I mean, could you put your switch in here? I don't know that I would want to, I really don't. So um, it's a good transport case, I, I would say, let me rephrase that. It's a great transport case for your Pro Controller and your mount. It's a good transport case if you want to leave your switch mounted to the S1 as you are traveling. Now, just for comparison's sake, I am gonna throw it in here with the KMD controller on the Founders Edition. And if you're looking for a really, really good third-party uh, Nintendo Switch controller, this KMD Pro controller is amazing. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that's a great fit there too. Let me see here uh, how it fits if I actually have the Switch, again, mounted to it. There's that. You know, I'll say this is a better fit than the Nintendo one, but it's also because the KMD controller is an overall lower profile. Um, would I recommend it? Yeah, I actually would. I, I would not recommend using this accessory case though at all for transporting uh, accessories with the Switch. Um, yeah, I would just worry that that would be too much pressure when all zipped up and everything on the Switch. But this has a nice handle and everything. Uh, unravel it, there we go. And it's a great way to transport your Switch with the Fixture Gaming S1. Let's wrap things up. So there you have it, my look at the Fixture Gaming travel case for the S1. What do I think about it? Now, like I mentioned earlier, I do wish it was a hair taller. I don't quite feel comfortable putting my Switch on the S1 stored in here. It's a little bit too tight of a fit for my taste. Now, there is some give to that like pocket area where it'll probably be okay but I probably don't wanna take that risk. At least that's me. Without the switch on it, travel's 
perfectly so you can carry both your Fixture Gaming S1 and your Pro Controller right in this case. And I am glad to say too that, you know, in addition to the KMD Pro Controller and the OEM Nintendo Pro Controller, I have recently found that the Aeolion Pro Controller for the Switch also fits. So we now have three different controllers that fit inside of the, um, the S1 Stay sure. <laughs> without any issue whatsoever. I look at the Fixture Gaming S1 as the thing that you never knew that you needed until you saw it. And once you saw it and tried it, it's like, this makes so much sense. Why did nobody else come up with it? Now, it is only for the Switch. It does not fit the Switch Lite. And that's because it keys into where the Joy-Cons would normally fit. But this is a great way to store and transport your controller in your Fixture Gaming S1. Now, if you are looking to pick up either one of these cases or an S1, I will have a link down below in a pinned comment where you can check both of those out. Is this something you would consider picking up? Have you picked one of them up? And if so, what do you think? I've seen a lot of other uh, YouTubers recently pick up a Fixture Gaming S1. I believe Sean Long, RGT85, I think he's got one. John Riggs has got one. A number of other uh, content creators out there have gone ahead and picked these up and give them a try. And quite honestly, everyone that I've ever talked to about this thing loves it once they've tried it. And something I can't recommend highly enough. Now, if you do want to check out our original review of the Fixture Gaming S1 and the production version, those videos are coming up right now. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to support the future of Rock Solid Productions, you can do so by visiting our Patreon page at patreon.com slash rocksolid. For as little as a dollar a month, $12 a year, you'll get early access to all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube for as little as $1.99 a month. And with that, you get a badge next to your name when you comment or post on the channel. And you are acknowledged whether you are a channel member or a Patreon supporter at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also support the channel by visiting our Teespring store on screen now, where we have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, masks, cell phone cases, and much more. Again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.